Hello my friends, and welcome to another episode of Farm to Table, a cozy Minecraft gameplay where we are going to be playing through, uh, among other things, the Farmer's Delight mod. As you can see, we are standing on our patio, the only portion of, the, of our house that we uh, currently have. We've got our farm back there in the background, and we actually just received a letter uh, from someone in the town. I woke up this morning and it was left. I'm gonna have to build a mailbox in order to receive more of these in the future. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Dear Mr. Crisp, we're excited to have you a part of the town of Harmony. This may be a strange request, but the roads in our village have fallen below standard. They need to be cleaned up and repaired. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, the town could offer a payment of six emeralds. This can go directly to you or go to paying off your land debt. All the best, Alfredo the Cartographer. Okay. So it seems like we have a village quest or a town quest. Um, this will be the first of, I believe, many. It gives us a little something extra to do as well as uh, accomplishing our uh, food and culinary goals. Um, so that is awesome. I'm actually going to just leave it here because I don't want it to take up space in my inventory. Before we take on a possible town quest, I want to make sure we're going to have food. Um, and we do have some wheat growing down there. We also have some carrots growing down here. Uh, so let's make sure that this is going well. Right before I started recording, I actually killed a skeleton who was hanging out in the trees. So let's just use some of this bone meal to to finish off uh, and get some of this wheat a little bit further along. Great. And as always, replanting. Replanting always. And actually, replanting with uh, as much as possible here. Beautiful. Um, yeah, my food stores, you know, we've got a little bit of fish. We got some some uh, some meat there Got some carrots here, but we want to make sure that we can last um, a few days if need be while we go and work on uh, The roads in the town uh, Let's go ahead and make a chest as well to store a lot of our things here because we don't need quite a bit of the things we have here we do not need this is our original letter that we got from Harmony I actually picked up an acorn when we uh, when I was chopping down a, a couple of trees which is pretty cool um, we've got some animal fat here we'll put our all of our food stuffs here um, so we have quite a few things and look at that. We've got these pumpkins. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly plant a couple of pumpkin seeds um, I just want to make sure that we are always growing whatever we have access to because uh, You know this oops, We won't even need that one, but uh, growing all the things that we have access to allows us to continuously have uh, options for making food in the future. So we're just going to make sure that is always happening. So in Minecraft, the simplest way to make bread is with three wheat and you do that. It, you know, you get one loaf of bread from three wheat and it's uh, pretty simple and easy. So in the Farmer's Delight mod, there's actually a new way of making bread. It produces more bread for about the same amount of ingredients. So you can see here, um, with three wheat and one water bucket, you get three wheat doughs. From that, you can then bake the dough, and uh, that will turn into bread. All it takes is one egg and some wheat, or one water bucket and some wheat. Uh, so we have an egg. Um, I was going to go mining for iron, but we do not need it. So there we go. Simple as it can be. Three pieces of wheat 
and an egg. And you know, I don't need to, but I think I actually might leave this to rest and we're gonna, we're gonna bake this a little bit later. Um, and uh, just for funsies, why don't, I think I'm gonna go make myself some, some bread dough right now. Uh, and then we will have it to eat in real life a little bit later. Off I go. Now with our bread dough completed and resting um, as, as it is here, we can move on. And uh, I think the first part of this uh, kind of portion of the game is gonna be to gather resources. You know, we haven't really quite known about what is, uh, what is wrong with the road, but I think no matter what, we're going to need some different things. So I'm going to just spend a little bit of time here collecting some resources. Uh, I'm going to collect some wood. I'm going to collect some stone. And the hope was be that I can find some iron in this cave and avoid any, any dangerous uh, occupants of the cave at, at the same time. I hope everyone out there is having a just a absolutely wonderful day um, it is currently getting quite warm in the area of the US that I live and let me tell you it gets it gets tough when <laughs> you don't have uh, any air conditioning um, so one of these days I'm gonna have to go buy a window unit uh, a window air conditioner in order to to survive the the heat that is uh, definitely causing some sweat these days um, so I've collected a little bit of cobble here I'm gonna rush back oh it looks like it's raining I'm gonna I'm gonna rush back see if we can get in bed really quickly to avoid any any monsters and I'm afraid yeah not gonna not gonna have much luck here so we'll see if we can kill these guys real quick. If I can hit with my axe. All right. Let's see if we can hop in bed. This is when an open, uh, open sleeping arrangement doesn't work out the best, but. We'll just have to make do uh, like we've got it here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick furnace. Oh. Hit him with my trusty skillet. Look at that. Done. Oh, the <laughs> hitting with the skillet. That's what causes damage to the skillet. That's, that's pretty funny. Um, so we're gonna just cook up we have quite a bit of raw food here. We're gonna go ahead and just cook this up and make sure that we have lots of food uh, to, to work with here. Um, also gonna run down, get some more wheat. We got a little bit more bone meal. Perfect. Because now, like I like we just discovered with this Farmer's Delight mod, the, the wheat to bread ratio is just about equal. So that means every, you know, it's got an extra step in between, but every single piece of wheat that we can, that we can um, get uh, is, is more bread. And I just realized we don't have any more eggs, but we will have to find some iron at some point soon to, uh, you know, that way we can make uh, our, our bread dough quite quickly. And actually, uh, when I was off screen uh, here, when I first got on, I had a little bit further viewing distance because um, 
uh, it was just embracing the lag for a minute and I noticed you can see there is a sky village uh, just what would that be rises in the east sets in the west so that's just south of here um, which is pretty cool you can see that's up there at some point we're gonna have to gonna have to go and check that out um, and see what that is all about see what the the village is called what the the name of it, of it is and everything I know when we were first coming into town which is that direction um, uh, we found one right above us as well and it's pretty cool pretty cool thing if you're curious about that uh, it's uh, and how there are sky villages in this game I'm actually playing with a mod called Sky Villages, um, and it adds a bunch. And if you're curious to how the villages in my game are huge and have huge buildings in comparison, um, I'm playing with quite a few other village mods, about three of them, I think. And so you can find those in the description below. So we've got our dough rising in the game as well as in real life even though the game doesn't really need to rise um, we've got some food uh, we've got uh, a little bit of cobblestone I'm just gonna chop down a quick tree and that way we can have some extra wood while we go into town and try to take on this quest of, of fixing up the roads of the town looks like we got some tea leaves from this tree some apples some acorns this is just wonderful those acorns, man, with this fresh bread, um, this might not be this episode, but maybe next episode we'll have to have to check out um, trying to make a peanut butter and jelly. All right, so we've got our quest item here. And this isn't probably the fastest way to get into town, but it's the most fun, so we're going to take it. I'm going to take our ship here and just sail on over. I plot... I, 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 dropped uh, our plot into this spot specifically because uh, we are on the river so we can if we need to our ship has cargo space as you can see here and we can um, just load up our ship and take it right up the river and uh, drop things off as we need which is a great great help um, and assistance to uh, us wanting to make a restaurant. Beautiful. All right, very short journey. We've successfully parked and now we can move on. So these roads, yeah, you can see these roads are kind of all over the place, aren't they? Hello, Myrna. I feel like we met the first day I arrived here. Yeah, so I think... I feel like cleaning up the roads here is really just going to be... As simple as making things look a little bit more uniform. You know? Making sure that um, things aren't as overgrown. Um... Like this up here, what is this, you know? Are we on a dock or are we off a dock? Quite a mess. Absolute mess. Good thing I got more wood. This may be a, a, a multi-day job here. Um, this might not be a simple and quick uh, job to do, so we're gonna have to uh, really put our back into it here. And where does this go? This is just a road to nowhere. Are we supposed to, should we connect these two maybe? This is a mess. Oh boy. We are gonna need a better shovel, that is for sure. 
Oops. Quite sure I just took out a bunch of flowers. Yikes. We don't need to extend the dock all the way into town, right? It just needs to be, you know, it just needs to look a little bit cleaner. And I think that's the same case here. We don't need to necessarily completely change the how all of this is done. We just want it to feel like a decent road, right? Well, that's better. Look at the sun coming in in this beautiful little village of Harmony. Okay, this is all looking pretty good. Let's make a quick change here. That's nice. Oh, good. See, this is this is where it's kind of all a mess. I think this is going to be a significant amount of work. As far as, you know, what food am I excited to make in this game? I'm excited to make all of it. I mean, this game has uh, Farmer's Delight and and I also have an, an extra mod uh, added on to the Farmer's Delight which is called Delightful and there's just so much stuff there's sushi there's whole sushi platters with sushi and sashimi um, there's uh, this is I just got to take a moment here and just say what is going on in this little area what the heck but yeah in this game there's sushi there's sushi platters there's um chicken full chicken dinners there's so many platters and meals where you can just uh turn like one item into an entire meal which is very very cool and i'm very excited about i i mentioned this but a peanut butter and jelly so simple but I'm pumped about it. Uh, a hamburger, there's pies, there's multiple pies, there's um, all kinds of things. So we're making good progress on the roads. We're on our, our second day has just started to finish. Man, all these people out and about. Cleveland. Who sent us the letter? A oh, forester. I wonder if they can get extra Sean. Sean the forester. I'm gonna have to remember Sean. An engineer? Oh, this is very cool. We're so close to our home. Let's just go back and take a nap in our own bed. And honestly, I'm feeling kind of hungry. We might just go ahead and and bake up that bread. See if uh, see if we've let it rest for long enough, and see if it's risen at all. You know, I think I think this this bread is risen enough. Let's give it a whirl. and get some fresh, fresh bread. I think this will be lovely indeed. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm just gonna sit and sit out here and enjoy the bread.
fresh bread is one of those things in the world where it's so underrated and like it's pretty dang simple to make you know it took me a little bit longer to make it because i was doing it um and, and setting up the camera and stuff for it but realistically like if i wasn't doing all that it would be like 10 minutes to get all of the bread going or 10 minutes to get the dough going uh and then let it sit for a couple hours and then you just don't even really think about it and then a couple hours go by and you pop it in the oven and boom you've got a whole thing of fresh bread um it's only taking you you know some some mental energy for the day and uh it's so cheap so good for the future i think what we're going to be doing is every time we we cook something new in the game and if i have the the time and energy i'm just gonna cook it in real life too because i want to eat what i what i've made in the game that sounds lovely fresh bread you know a little bit of effort 100 percent of quality in fact right now i need to go cut another slice before i continue building the road you know this stuff is good when I've eaten half of the slice I cut before I even made it. Cooking and gaming? I mean, you can't do it better, right? Here I am, running around, getting hungry. Um, I'm gonna eat this last piece of scrumptious bread. This is an all an absolute mess. This, we're gonna have to figure something out here. Unfortunately, we're not really working towards our farm today or the past few days here, but you know, we'll get to it. And um, I don't think it'll, it, it, it will be going anywhere. So coming back to you, the road job, like I said, taken way longer than I thought it would. We've inlaid some stairs up to the top here and some that goes all the way up to the last house uh, in the village. Finished our work in the rain. This area is, so-so I would say it's not the greatest we're gonna put some some fence line over here at some point to prevent people from falling off but um, uh, at least it is there and honestly I think as far as a job goes I don't think anybody's gonna be batting an eye that I didn't put more stairway in um, so I think we will be good to go here. Uh, the stairway, I believe, is probably even a little bit extra since I took supplies from my own area. So um, I'm fairly confident that our six emeralds will be safe. Boom. We finished the road. Good job, everyone. Woo! That took uh, a good bit of effort. Um, but it is completed so hopefully in the morning uh, Timmy here will get a, a letter out to us which will let us know that our balance has been paid down um, from 60 emeralds for our plot of land to uh, 54 since the, the job paid six and uh, wow 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 that's pretty great that is going to do it for us for today our quest has been completed we have baked a lovely batch of bread we've got a, a sunrise and a rainbow coming in behind us because it rained all night thank you so much for joining us i will see you next time on farm to table go bake some bread